Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I made this sign to hang in my room. Um, it's got Romans 5 8 on it, which has been a scripture that's really just meant a lot to me lately. And I thought I would just show y'all how I did this for myself. So I used this wood slab that I picked up at Hobby Lobby in their like unfinished wood section, as well as some acrylic paint and paint brushes. To do the flowers, I picked up this pack of vellum stickers, then a metallic gold pen and pencil, and to hang it, I used a ribbon and staple gun, but you could use whatever you have on hand. So the very first step is to paint the background of your wood slab. I opted to do white because I wanted for my stickers to be able to show through. I didn't want any color to show up in the background, um, and this was just a really easy basic color to do it was going to match whichever stickers I ended up picking up and I just outlined the edges first so that I had the edges exactly the way I wanted and they were nice and clean and then I filled in the inside and just make sure that it's a nice thick opaque coating of it and then let it dry completely before moving on to the next step so the next step is to go in with a pencil and first write the words out so that you know that everything is going to fit the way that you want it to. You're happy with the placement and you can also make sure that you don't spell anything wrong when you're using your actual paint marker. Then after that I took my marker and I went over the words just one time tracing over it. And I tend to, when I sketch something out first with a pencil and then go back over it, I tend to just go way off book and go all over the place. So if you're like that too, don't worry, you can totally erase the pencil marks. Okay, so then to give it that a calligraphy look, you want to go in and darken all of the downward strokes anywhere where your pencil was going from top to bottom in a downward motion. And to do that, you want to just go in and add like a second line parallel to whatever your downward stroke was. And then after you have all of those lined up, it's just time to go and start filling in those lines. I also at this point just made sure I didn't have any like uneven spots and everything just looked nice and smooth. And then of course because I didn't stay in line with my pencil markings, I have to go back in and erase with the pencil, but this worked out really well. And if you have any little stubborn spots that don't come up, you can totally go over it with white paint. Then I started laying out my vellum stickers. One thing that I really learned is to just lay it down and not rub it down until you're happy with the placement. There are a couple times where I had to really struggle to pull the sticker up to get something underneath it or something like that. So just lay it out whichever way you want. I really liked this sort of like faux floral wreath look that you just see like watercolor images and stuff all over Pinterest. I thought it was so cute. And then I went in and added the actual words Romans 5, 8 underneath. And I waited until after I had the stickers on just to make sure that I knew exactly where I wanted it to go and that it fit. And then my last step that I did to decorate it was to just go around those stickers with that gold pen and just trace kind of roughly. And it covers up that vellum outline. And it just sort of added a little bit of something extra and kind of helped tie in the flowers to the gold words as well. And then after that was all done, I just flipped it upside down and I laid out my ribbon to the right length that I needed it to go and placed it how I wanted it and then just stapled it in place and just snipped off the extras and it was able to hang like that. I love this so much. It turned out so beautifully and it seriously looks like it took a lot more work than it actually did. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear about it if you recreate it. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.